Story number eight. Enjoying time with real friends. Alice was four, and she loved to play dress up. She loved nice dresses, lots of jewelry, and makeup. Of course, her mom never let her put on any makeup, but she loved watching her mommy do it. Since there were no children in her neighborhood, she couldn't go out and play with anyone. She also didn't have any brothers or sisters, so she had to play all by herself. She felt very lonely at times, so she started talking to her dolls as if they were real people. Minnie. You can't change your clothes just yet. You just put that dress on," Alice told one of her dolls. She kept playing with the dolls and would stand in front of the mirror for hours, talking to her other imaginary friends. As soon as she made imaginary friends, she started enjoying herself. They did everything she said. And would play with her whenever she wanted. I don't need any other friends, Mom. I have so many friends, and they talk to me and play with me for hours. I love them all. Alice told her mom happily. You know they are not real, Alice. They are only in your head, her mom said. But they are real, Mom. I can't see them, but I can talk to them. They are my best friends, and they love to play dress up too. Alice insisted. That worried Alice's mom. She was becoming too lonely, and needed to spend time with some real friends. Maybe I should get her in a kindergarten class. This way, she will be surrounded by children her age, and forget all about her imaginary friends. Alice's mom thought. But who is going to play dress up with my friends if I go to kindergarten? Alice asked sadly. They will become all alone, mommy. I can't leave them here. But you will have more friends at kindergarten, darling," her mom explained. "And you can play on the swings, have music classes, and have so much more fun than you do at home." But I don't want to go," Alice whined. "I like staying at home and playing in front of the mirror. It is much more fun." You are going, and that is final. I don't want to hear anything more. Okay, Alice's mom said strictly. Alice just sighed, and went out of the room. She was not happy about this, because she knew her friends would become sad without her. Mom just didn't understand anything. The next day. Mom dressed Alice in her pink dress and took her to kindergarten. Alice kept making faces, but her mom dropped her off there and said she would see her after school. Alice was a little nervous about going to the class. She was scared that the children might not like her. But when Alice's mom came to pick her up, she jumped into the car happily. How was your day, honey? Her mom asked. I had a great time, mommy. There were so many little girls my age, and there was a huge dollhouse with teacups and small dresses that we could play with. I love my kindergarten. Alice replied excitedly. So from that day on. Alice became so busy with her real friends, she let her imaginary friends go.
She enjoyed her time at kindergarten and even went to the park with her new friends. She now understood that no one can be better than real friends.